Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm continue working on the BMW. Yes, in the previous episode you guys remember that I messed up this whole side, right? Also did this back side, right? So what I need to do now to finish and start painting is to do this side. And in order to do that, I need to start working. In order to do that, I will have to put you on a tripod so you can see exactly what I do. You have a questions, comment down below. Let's start this episode. I wanna paint this vehicle and I don't have that much time left because current time is 11 o'clock and I'm running out of time because I'm trying to start painting right around two o'clock. That's when the temperature is gonna be the highest. Today is actually 70 degree i think it's a little bit too chilly for a medium reducer but we'll see how everything gonna go let's tape this off it's gonna take us a couple hours freaking a i finished masking whole car i think i should be fine on the bottom and that's it it's ready to be cleaned blocks and greased oh i need to i still need to cover this and cover the holes okay but oh i need to tape it here missed it okay Good to know, good to know. I don't care about the rims because I'm gonna repower coat them. I found the company who does that and put it at a decent price. Cover this, this covered. Yeah, that's it. But I am also hungry. My, mo my mom lives here a couple blocks away. I'm gonna go see how she's doing also. Have something to eat, come back, and we should start doing some stuff that gets us to painting. Finally, the whole car is taped off. I also went ahead and taped this bottom oh, paper to the floor so the paper doesn't run back and forth. I also finish with the holes. Got this taped off and same thing on this side. So everything is ready. I actually went ahead and checked 
and see if I missed the spots and I grabbed the very scotch bright when I had to take care of that. So now I'm ready to box and grease it. Uh, I'm gonna be using wet and dry towel to make sure I don't leave any uh, residue behind because this is gonna be expensive paint job. So guys, I got a bit excited when I was loading a vehicle on a trailer and in my wax and grease remover, I dumped the lock retainer. When they start whoa, applying, I'm like, this smells weird. This is, this is not it. And then I remembered it's uh, on the five gallon can it says virgin lock retainer. Man, but gladly guys had some, so we'll say it. we are saved. Let's just continue. That's it, car is 100% ready to be sprayed with the sealer. It will wax and grease, tack and claw, bumpers and the car. You can see there's not enough space. Uh, I don't know how I will do this, but somehow I will have to work with whatever I have at this point. Because nothing I can do to make it easier. I'm just hoping I will have enough space. I should be able to, yeah, should be enough space to walk here, paint here, then squeeze here, paint like so. Yep. So I am ready, guys. Let's pre mix the sealer. I will turn the GoPro on. Put it on the head and you'll be painting with me. I'm hoping it's not gonna be so much overspray where you can't see it. All right, since I'm painting full car, I bought the big ones. So let's mix it up. It's one to one ratio. How much I need? Oh man, am I gonna be spraying silver whole, whole car? How many ounces? So I probably need two of this. This is 750 milliliters. So I need one. So 500, 500, and 500. I forgot the freaking spray mask. I freaking forgot the spray mask. Okay, I got myself a brand new spray mask. Mm. Time is 
flying out. Time is flying out. Okay guys, everything ready? I'm ready to spray, I'm gonna turn the fan on and it's gonna be super loud, you're not gonna hear me. I'm ready to spray, just wanna let you know that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. Super nervous, super happy. Let's get this done. Okay guys, I'm completely done. Paint job looks really nice. Slight dirt, but hey, way better than would be in my garage. It's actually nine o'clock. I'm really trying to get home. I'm just trying to show you guys because I have to go and build the shit tomorrow. I gotta wake up at five in the morning in order to make it. Plus, the owner of the shop needs to go. So, I'll show you everything tomorrow. I'm done for today. I'll see you tomorrow. It's the next day here. I already went ahead and hooked up the uh, trailer to Tahoe. You can see back glass gonna get installed today. And also front windshield actually waiting for me almost a year now. <laughs> I ordered the windshield and that should be glued in. Hopefully glued in today. Starting tomorrow we have rain season officially starting tomorrow it's gonna start it's gonna start raining and it's gonna rain through the whole week and looks like a 10 day forecast every day rain so yep we are there in order for me to get the vehicle from the garage so i can work uh, with some let's say i'm painting something and bmw is in the garage i need to get that vehicle outside and if it's raining Obviously I can't do that, plus I can start reassembling doors and all that. Oh man, I can't wait for that. So, yeah, let, let's just, enough lyric, let's just hop in in Tahoe and let's go pick up that BMW. Let's see how the paint turned out, turns out, because yesterday, yesterday I didn't have a chance to even look how it turns out. Hopefully everything is perfect, hopefully there is no runs or maybe two maximum and not a whole lot of dirt i mean well, uh, yesterday it looked like it's it's pretty nice but that was yesterday what's gonna be today what i'm gonna be able to find i don't know another thing is what bothers me uh, was bothering me since yesterday i had to leave everything like it is i wasn't able to unmask it and there's some areas that i'm worried about i already got dry and i'm worried about that i can peel the paint with the tape S because i didn't do back masking on the doors like i usually do i was kind of too lazy and kind of too in a hurry because those guys i mean they're using paint boot and that's their money maker right so i had to get it out uh, as quick as possible i was there for two days and the third day I don't know if they can allow me or not. I didn't even ask. I asked for two days. That's what I booked for. And I was I was busting try to get that thing done. So I just hope I didn't do any mistake on it. And everything is good. Because if I'm going to have to repaint the vehicle, it's going to be expensive. It's going to be expensive. Gallon of paint right now is what? 700 bucks? Okay, let's say half a gallon of uh, pearl what 600 bucks if no more uh clear coat uh, 200 bucks reducer probably 100 to 150 bucks uh what else i mean uh, i'm not gonna need the sealer and again paint but 200 bucks a day so yeah <laughs> if i messed up something <laughs> that means <clears throat> i'm in a big hole on the credit card Let's go pick it up. Let's see moment of the truth How bad everything is uh, Dirt <laughs> that's that's expected. That's next to your door. So that's expected. 
I mean, other than that, there's few specs, but I like how the clear coat lays down, how glossy it is. Man, I like it so far. No runs. So far, so good. Man, fresh, fresh painted. Oh, <laughs> let's check it out. Man. Yeah, and still, still dirty, pretty dirty, not super, super dirty, but like I have one here and one there, I mean, throughout here and there, actually on the whole side, that's pretty, pretty, pretty dang good. I'd say that's wind. Yeah, I mean, uh, orange peel on the quarter panel, I don't like it, but on the door, Check it out. Uh, what is it? That's too much. Check it out. Yeah, that's. I think my best side is gonna be back. I th the back is laid down completely gorgeous. I mean, I don't have nothing against it. That side I do have a little. I don't like how that side came out, but I believe. Oh, okay. What the heck is this? That's weird. Okay. But this side. Oh. Found the run. One run over here. Another one over here. Man, other than that. I love it. I mean, I would love this. You know, I would want to. I think. Yeah, this is too much. This is too orange peely. I'm gonna have to buff it down a little. But hey, it's not bad. Oh, huh? we have another run. That that's what I was worried about. This was my biggest fear that this is gonna stick. <gasps> awesome, awesome. No freaking line. No way. No way. Wow. No freaking way! No line at all. No line at all. Everything paid off. Paid off. I wonder how it looks inside over there. But man, this run bothers me. <laughs> other than that, other than that, it looks really, really cool. The color. I had. I had to. I couldn't reach way over there, so I had to kind of flow you. Oh, I actually never record how I put the clear and rest of the except the uh, sealer. But yeah. All right. Time to unmask it and see what we got. What's going on over here? Hopefully not too much overspray there. What about here? Now this have a little edge over here, but hey, it was 1500 and slight buff, that will take care of it. No problem whatsoever. Man, yay, 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 I love it, I love it, I can't believe it. This thing is painted and it's, it's weird. From some side it looks beige, from here it looks white, from here it looks silver. It's so weird. I'm telling you, let's unmask that and another thing. See, that's what I was worried too. When I'm gonna start peeling this up, I'm scared that because of the so many layers, look, this is how thick this is. This is seven layers, seven layers, two of, uh, two sealer, two base and two, oh, one, one uh, pearl into heavy 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 uh coats of clear so total first coat four quarts uh no not the four quarts uh, first coat uh, first coat of the clear i used the uh, yeah kind of quart 500 500 500 500 500 so no 500 back to back door 500 Go from this door to middle of the hood. 
another 500 and 500 on the ball, uh, bumpers. So that makes uh, two liters sprayable. That's first coat and two liters sprayable second coat. Hopefully this is enough. And again, I'm not gonna be buffing this thing down to like to a mirror. If I'm not gonna like uh, like fender, I do like it how it looks. But to make it even get the dust off of it and all the good stuff, I'm just gonna probably slightly send it with a even GA2000 or 2500 and buff it for a perfecto. But I also have something in mind. You guys gonna find out soon. Hopefully before Christmas. We might gonna go a different route. Let's just unmask it and just wait for the time to come. Right time to come for me to announce it. Got the vehicle strapped, actually on the trailer and strapped. Totally forgot to record. I actually don't have a time. So guys, it's ready. Uh, I'm going to Northwest Auto Glass and actually I thought I can, they can install it today. But by the time I will get there, by the time they're gonna start working, it's gonna be six o'clock. Current time is, what time? Come on, shave it on me, uh, 4.30. So by the time I'll get there, it's gonna be like 10 minutes before five. So they're not gonna be working on it. I'm gonna uh, drop off and they're gonna work on it tomorrow or whenever they have time. They're gonna call me and tell me it's ready. I'm gonna go and pick it up. Right now, let's just get there. Man, again. All right, <laughs> BMW dropped off right there, baby. That's where it's at. Now let's go back into the shop, clean it, everything, get our garbage with us. Uh, take the bumpers, take everything and go home. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be back here again to pick up a BMW. I'll see you when he's gonna call me about the glass. <laughs> 